Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, obviously, uh, Notre Dame on Sunday. Team you guys beat pretty handily here about a couple weeks ago, but still a very good team. Just, I imagine you expect a pretty dif- different game uh, when you go down there on Sunday. Yeah, I, it's it's going. It should be a great basketball game. Um, we played extremely well here and kind of, kind of caught, caught them on an off, on an off day, uh, shoot, shooting the basketball wise, and uh, they're playing some really good basketball right right now. Really nice win at Georgia Tech. Looked good last night against Clemson, and you know it's their last home game. Um, you know I do expect them to be a. a, a a top four seed and get the opportunity to host uh, the first two rounds in the NCAA tournament. So uh, it'd be their last Ray, 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 regular season home game. And I think they're 14 or 15 and 0 at home. They've played it really, really well at home. So looking forward to what should be a really, really good college basketball game. Obviously you, you need NC state to lose, but the opportunity to play for a fifth straight AC regular season title, just what does that mean? And have you talked to the girls about the opportunity on Sunday? No, we haven't talked about that a whole bunch. I mean, we understand what's in front of us, uh, just the opportunity to hopefully, you know, solidify and keep a a one seed possibly in the NCAA tournament. Um, You know, we had our opportunities at NC State and at Carolina to kind of take care of things ourselves. But unfortunately, you know, we lost those ball ball games, but there were two great games, great games in which which we, uh, we led in. And NC State's had a really, really good year. Um, so we know what's in front of us. And if we can take, take care of business, then obviously we need, we need a little help from uh, Virginia Tech. But it, it's still pretty impressive to say that you've been, you know, right there first or second in the league, a, a very competitive league for, for the last five years. Obviously, Emily's transferred here and, I mean, completely – I mean, she's an ACC Player of the Year candidate, ACC Defensive Player of the Year candidate. Just what what has it been like to have her and see her transformation as someone who coached against her for so many years and now sees her in a completely different system and and, and thriving in it? Well, you know, she loves the game of basketball. You you can see that she she sees the game a a frame or two ahead at times, Uh, really does an outstanding job of anticipating that, that next pass, seeing what they're trying to do. She is an uncanny ability to, to block shots and not foul. Uh, I, I actually think she had two or three again last night at Pitt. And then she she's uses her length to, to get her hands on so many balls. And not that she always is going to get the steal, but she gets so many deflections. I definitely see her as a candidate, a candidate and a strong c- c- contender for a- a- ACC Defensive play, uh, Player of the Year, uh, just for not only the fact she might not lead the conference in blocks, but she's got her fair share, and then she might not lead it in steals, but she's up there in the top two or three in both categories. Uh, and then her ability to just disrupt the other team's offense uh, is, pr- is pretty impressive. So. I've I've been very excited for her and pleased for her, and now we've just got to finish out strong. I mean, we're you're guaranteed three games. That's it. You know, you're really down to three games in your season, and I I wouldn't think that that you want to take any game for granted uh, any day because it it's not like we we've got a whole bunch more practice left in us. I mean, we've got today and tomorrow play. Sunday, we'll take Monday off, practice, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday be a light day, and then trying to see who we're going to play on Friday. And then it's play Friday, hopefully play Saturday, and then, you know, for fortunate enough, play again on Sunday. So it's not, it, it's not much left. So hopefully everyone's prepared for what will be a, a great run here at the end of the season. She does lead and steals. Uh, so my, uh, my SID knows something. But hey, hey, what, what, what's today's date? Twenty fifth. Wonderful. It's February too. Hey, hey mar, mar, mark it down, circle it. And it's a leap year this year too, isn't it? It's not a leap year. Oh, that's a shame. Golly, I mean, it would be a unbelievable. I mean, like the stars are aligning. Jeff, you mentioned the one seed, and 
I mean, you guys are obviously locked. You're going to host an NCAA tournament. Just how important is that one seed compared to a, a two seed and, and finishing the season strong to get that one seed? Well, I, you know, the, the, the one seed, two, two seed in the NCAA tournament, there's not that big of a difference in that. Um, having the opportunity to play your first two games at home obviously are a big help. You know, one, once you get past that first round, there's 32 teams left, you know, and I got that from Nick again. I mean, outstanding math. Uh, but once you get to your final 32 teams, I guarantee you every one of them at one point or time has been ranked in the top 25 or receiving votes. So they're all good. You know, you're, you're looking at a second-round game. You're going to have to show up and compete and play hard. Um, and that's what I've, I've, said, I've said it all year. I, I really believe we have a team that's talented enough to get to a Final Four. And then we also could lose in that second round game if if we don't come prepared to play. Depth's obviously been a a, a good strength for your team all season. Uh, how pleased were you with with the bench play last night? It seemed like uh, with with Peyton Verholst played well and Liz and some others kind of keyed opening up the lead a little bit last night. I th- I thought our bench played well. I thought everybody played well, especially that 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 run they gave us there at the end end of the third quarter uh, was a a a boost that that we needed. So very very pleased with that. We're going to continue to to need our bench as we go forward, especially once you get to ACC play when it could could be three games in three days. Everybody's got to be prepared to play, and you've got to be re- ready to to give your all because. As we've talked about, it's one and done now. Jeff, you, you mentioned it after the North Carolina loss, and I think you mentioned it a little bit after the Pitt game, just a little bit lo- lo- lack of focus, especially on the offensive boards against Pitt. What do you attribute that to um, for, for you all in, the, in that loss in North Carolina in the game against Pitt? Well, that game against North Carolina, just we, we just didn't play well. I mean, we didn't play well, and – I mean, I, I, I've been here for, for 15 years, obviously, and if you sat there and told me that we're up one with under a minute to go twice and couldn't come up, up with a stop, I, I don't know if that's ever happened before. I mean, that's just not who we are. So it was just a game that was uncharacteristic of, of how we norm, nor, normally play. Um, and then offensively, we, 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 we didn't have a great game offensively. I mean, we only gave up 66 points. It's not, it's not like we, get, we give up 80. Um, but it, it's a learning experience for, for us, and it's one that we've got to c- continue to, to grow from, and we have. And then our pit game, it, we just – you get, they, they make a living off of – second chance opportunities. They're one of the best re- rebounding, if not the best offensive rebounding teams in the country, uh, which also means you miss a lot of first shots. And you've got to know when they go up, it, it, there are some hard hard misses. They're really going off the rim hard. They're, they're not going to just be that soft when they come straight down. So you really have to focus on pushing back and not trying to get caught looking up and rebounding above you. You've got to rebound out in front of you. Didn't shoot a, a great percentage last night, but but did get to the free throw line quite a bit, and for the most part, until late in the game, kind of kept them off the free throw line. They've shot a lot of free throws uh, on the year. Were you happy with that? Both getting to the line and, and being able. I know that's been an emphasis keeping the other team off the line. Yeah, I was pleased with uh, the fact that we got to the line not, not nineteen times. The problem is we only made ten. You know, you've 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 got to convert them when when you get to them. At the same time. We did a better job of not fouling. I think we only fouled 12 or 13 times the entire game, which is something that we, we've worked on. Uh, we've got to continue to get better at guarding the drive. We, we can't let people get biased because uh, as soon as our post has to stop over and step over and help, then the guards got, got to drop down and get in front of the post, and now you've got a mismatch rebounding-wise. Uh, we, we did a better job of that, though, in, in last night's game. Chelsea Hall had two really, really key – uh, ro- ro- rotations where one she come up with a box out, the other she came up with a steal. So it, it was exciting to see the growth there. And we've just got to continue to get better at small things like that. Uh, you know, when, when, when we play as a team and we play together and we scramble and we're, we're making up for each other, it, it's pretty impressive to watch. 
Je- Chelsea, I mean, didn't get a lot of the talk, but I mean, I feel like I think I've mentioned it to you before. She does a good job of leading the press. She she runs the offense well. How pleased with her game have you been this season and her, and her improvement th- throughout the season? I've been really impressed. I've you know I've I've enjoyed co- c- coaching her. She she she's a joy. Uh, she's always willing to learn and and, and wants to learn. Uh, j- just trying trying to continue to get her to be more vocal. It's the one area that I think she could, if she would embrace that and just become more of a vocal leader on the floor, it, I think it would really elevate and change her game. I mean, she she's already good, but I think it would take it to the next level. And that's one of the areas that, it, that we continue to challenge her in. And we will until we're, uh, we're finished. Because I, I think she could definitely go on and play after this. Uh, it might not be a WNBA career. It might be. But she can go play uh, in, in, in internationally and, and make a living a, out of it. And last thing for me, Haley's averaging, I think, somewhere near 18 points a game in the last five or six games. Um, what, what do you think is working for her offensively? Do you think she's becoming more confident as she, as she matures? Well, yes, and I think she she's really doing a good job of getting to the basket. She's she's getting to the free the free throw line. She's scoring from all three areas now, uh, and she's being patient. I I think she's taking good shots, and when when you take good shots, you're, the opportunity of making them are obviously higher, and that's our entire team. We when we shoot it well, it's because we're being patient. Uh, we're making the extra pass, and when our feet are set. And we take shots that we practice in practice. It's it, it, it's fun to watch. Thank you, everybody. How do I?